It's mandatory. <laughs> Once a day. We'll tell you guys what All right, Brittany. All right. Who are you? What do you do? And why do you do it? All right, I'm Brittany McDonald. I'm the executive director of Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary, and I do it because wolves are my passion and my purpose. Perfect. It's like Thank you. It's kind of like you have, right? In my sweatpants, like, yeah, I run. Dude, we are like, this is dressy for us. I was in Virginia um, living there and um, was doing animal control for a bit in between Oof. sanctuary jobs because I was like, I want to work with animals. I want to make a difference. Beauty. I can learn a lot about like law and like hold people accountable to, yeah. you know, to their animals. And so not a dream job because no. it's sad. It's depressing. Mm -hmm. But we... Learn, we had to learn about dog fighting because obviously the Michael Vick thing happened in Virginia. Yep, he went to Virginia Tech, which is where I was like, I was living in Blacksburg where Tech is and working about an hour away. And so they were talking about like him constantly and his fights and his dogs. And the craziest thing is like, I know a woman in the wolf dog rescue world who got me this job out here. And she actually had one of Michael Vick's dogs which after one? the whole thing, Little Red, who was like one of the most famous ones. Oh my God. Little Red has a She book. just died, like yeah. what, a couple years ago? Yep, she has a book written about her. So then oh. one of my one of my interns came Wait, here. Which is a book written about the dog. Yep, yeah. about Little Red. Um, but it was crazy because my intern was like, yeah, I read this book about Michael Vick's dogs and he had this dog, Little Red. And I was like, yeah, Susan owns Little Red. Or, oh you know, she's God. gone now. But that's... Susan, who got me this job, who is a wolf dog rescuer, that's owns insane. a like, That's awesome. Oh, I hear them rustling. Mm -hmm. Is it me or does it smell like a skunk in here? Yep, that's what their pee smells like. Oh, oh no way. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, a lot of people sometimes will think they have skunks in their garden, but it's oh, faulty irradiation smells like funny. skunk. Huh. Alright. You learn so. something new every day. Yeah. You, right, way so new. What we're gonna have you guys do in here is see all these little like holes and that stuff? they're digging. Yeah, we're gonna have you like break those up and kind of like collapse a lot of them. Okay. Nice, um, that sounds fun. We're back at a uh, wild wolf sanctuary and currently we are inside the fox's little house den thing. The fox den, and no, it's no strip club. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but look how cute. So they are bad boys. They're making holes to bury their food and we have to fill them in. That's actually a lot of fun. So these guys are not remotely dangerous whatsoever. They oh, might come good. up and say hi to you. They like strangers better than the people that they know. Oh, I love that. The blonde one glacier, he loves people. So if you guys like at any point want to sit on this rock or this log, those are his favorite spots. So oh. We'll let you get Oh him. my god, he's like coming right over. Yeah. So when he comes to say hi, just like be kind of slow and soft at first because they are a little skittish. But his brother will probably come say hi too. Oh my god, they're all coming. Yeah, and they'll give you kisses and sniffs and Oh hi! Is he in my hair? I feel something in my hair. Oh, I can't, I can't. Can I pet now? Yeah, just Hi. Phone. Where'd the other one go? Behind you. Hey. Hi. Glacier was like, get away. This is not good. And he likes oh. butt scratches a lot. Oh. Butt. Hello, Mr. Dingo Man. Hello, Mr. Dingo Man. What's his name, Glacier? Yeah. Hey, we're going to Glacier National Park. You want to come with? You want to come with us? Hi. Oh, I can't take it. Yeah, so feel free to like hang out with them sort of intermittently. Um, Try Aussie, to break without breaking something. Aussie probably won't come up, but he's more likely to come up if I'm not in here. So they're all really They're friendly. so weird, aren't they? Like yeah. that. So, okay, what was the, I missed the instruction. What was the instruction? So we're going to try to take that down, but the top part, which is like wooden and metal, has these L brackets attached underneath that go into the cinder blocks and they are concreted into like at least the top cinder block. Okay. So you can't like lift it off. Right. But I'm not sure if the rest are connected to anything or if the whole things um concreted i don't know mm -hmm. so i thought maybe you could push it over or you know figure out a way to get it taken down if not not a big deal but just something to kind of try oh, i found this spot you an animal i found that spot <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's so oh my god 
gonna love him. So you guys might be a dingo short and a pity, and yeah. a pity plus. <laughs> Quinn's, Quinn's being his normal. And so, okay, that, what, what is the point of that? So the tool is something that we use to like help a create a safe barrier. So if Quinn starts coming up and like jumping, I'm just gonna be like, uh-uh, oh, no, Quinn. Oh, okay, gotcha. And it helps create distance. Yeah. Um, for animals that are like the dingoes or Quinn and Laika, they usually don't need a barrier. They are not um, misbehaving. That's why they're like low maintenance. Uh -huh. But sometimes Quinn gets really excited and he's about 75, 85 pounds. So you don't want him like, Jumping, but he's being really good. So yeah, he's being really calm right now. Yeah. So the way that we determine like tool use, we basically have like mid or low maintenance, mid maintenance, high maintenance animals, and they dictate like what safety rules we have in place. No, for... these high maintenance. I'm gonna say. Yeah, my, my love. Yes. <laughs> Your love. Um, yeah, all of my like closest bonded animals are high maintenance animals. Yeah. They're like the nasty, naughty boys, and for whatever reason. I get along with them very well. Uh, I mean, we, we do work a lot on safe boundary setting. And so like the tool is one way to do that. But also some of these guys, it's as simple as just like, Saying nope, it. I don't want that. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, that's fine. Yeah. Um, not all of them, but he's, I mean, he's been here since he was a puppy. So yeah, so he knows me. now. Hi, baby. So you guys can say hi to him. He's being really calm. He, he doesn't look like he's going to jump or anything. Yeah. Good boy, Queen Good boy, Queen Good boy, Queen Yeah, these people. Yeah. Hey. He is so stinking cute. So he, he, um, Leia and Laika are all about six years old, but we still call them babies. So I was gonna say that. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> And like kisses. <laughs> and the other one is so jealous. <laughs> it's because I drink a Red Bull, isn't it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we still call them the babies because yeah. they act like babies. It's big old babies. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you a cutie pie? Hi. Yeah, so he's really good, really sweet boy. Like he a sweet is. too. She's just like this is her. Mm -hmm. And so he hasn't started shedding yet. Um, these guys last year were having some really difficult time shedding, mm -hmm. so we're giving them a medication to try to help this year. Why but do you think? Do you have any? No idea. idea. They, we've had them here since they were like six months old. Last year was the first year that I know of that they had troubles. And you can see, like on his legs, he's starting to tuft out a little bit. Yeah. Um, but normally they don't have a difficult time, so we love. So feel free to love on him while you guys are. Oh yeah. In here. We will. Oh yeah, he's a good boy. Um. Mm -hmm. These guys are really cool because when we have to do like blood draws and stuff, that can be really like stressful. Yeah. Um, but him and Leia in particular, for the most part, they're just like, here you go, take it. <laughs> and we just like hold their their arm and take it. They get a little Aww. bit more nervous if it's the vet doing it because they don't know the vet as yeah. well. But we've done blood draws on them with our interns. And normally we just use like <laughs> an old mean? fluid bag yeah. and so they can practice without being a live animal. But if they need a draw, like they're super easy to practice on. So that's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, he, he's just like, I'm just glad to get attention. I'm pretty sure our dogs are joining in on the. Peanut definitely is too at this point. I love her. Yeah, 
Quinny. Quinny. Come here, big girl. You should sit right here so I can film it. Hey. She's like, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm. Thank you. Oh, mm. I smell it. Mmm, that smells so good. Mmm. -hmm. So Woo! Oh. And you'll notice, like, their favorite places to scent rub are usually mouths, armpits. <laughs> he just, I was gonna say, he just totally smelled your armpit. <laughs> and it's because we have, like, either, like, coffee breath or, like, food breath. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. or yeah. Shampoo. So those are, like, their favorite spots. Hi. Like, he went right for my mouth because I just drank a Red, a Red Bull. Bull. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> I have a gift with finding the spots. Yeah. I used to have nails. I was, I mean, no dog could resist me. Yeah, we here. go. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking out like rolls of chain link, mm -hmm. holes like this. Um, there's some things like hanging on the fence. Like all that stuff needs to come out where they can't access it. And we'll just like store it right out here. On the Oh, in here or out there? Out here. Yep. No, okay. Yep. Like literally anywhere along this fence line or this flat entry area. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. If you kind of look down these fence lines and we can walk the whole thing like big rolls yeah, like gotcha. that. Yeah, gotcha like this anything that's should like we first bring everything over there and then start putting it in the other enclosure that way we're not having the door open yep. every five seconds yeah. yep the rule is not to have both doors open at the same yeah time, so, so basically we'll put everything yeah yeah and like all the way down there you can see there's more stuff so yep. it's gonna be you know, on both sides some, yes some runs back and forth and um a lot of this stuff was staged to keep working on it consistently but it's been a hot minute with all the trees that we've had to kind of cut switch and everything focus. You're like, yeah, this is always the most fun part. How long does it usually take you to get him out? Usually he'll get out right away, mm -hmm. um, but he never takes the bone. And then he won't need it because the other one will have it. Come on, come on. And then he'll just stay open, which is the rest of the Come on, bring it out. You can have the best of both worlds if you just use your brain. <laughs> There's the bone and the yard. Come on. the meat the bone with and then put it over there? No, not really. Come on, buddy, let's go. What if you touch him with a stick? Come on. Come on. Let's he is go. huge. Uh -huh. yeah, he's one of our big ass <laughs> crazy because he is in the 50 percent range i think really? he's 53 or 54. Uh -huh. um but he just looks like a big fat like shepherd malamute mix yeah. so to get started so he can get this energy out of his way we'll come right in here we'll say hello to him um don't bend down right away stay standing just to kind of get your bearings and then if he calms down you can okay. bend down and say hi he'll do kisses and stuff just um he's don't surprising. rough him up too much back up you, you know better you have to you have to stay in here, and we come hang out with you in here. 
Oh, what a sweetheart. Yes, hi. Yeah, you good boy. We're gonna work in here, is that okay? And he does have a companion in here. She's again, very shy, so we won't probably have see any her. contact with her. You might see her, um, but she's gonna avoid where we are. There she is at the top coming down. Yeah, I see her. She's gorgeous. She's so stunning. And these guys are actually the parents to one of the animals down there. A liar or something like that? What's that? A liar. Um, UA. UA. Yep, UA. So, okay if I pet him now? Yep. Okay. Yep. Hi. Yeah, you can say hi to these people. Mm. Hey, big boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Fluffy. And like 10 or 11, like estimate, still very God, young and his spry. legs and paws, they're thick. Mm -hmm. I mean, good like lord. Meaty. Yeah, he's a thick yeah. boy. Meaty. <laughs> so I'll hand that off to you. Cody, you know the hole that we're talking about? Yeah, that big one that we don't want to go into. Yep. So feel free to stuff it full of rocks, branches, dirt, whatever, oh, just baby. so she can't get in there. Okay. Um. 